everyone, I'm Ivy Newport and many of you know I have a blog and I love writing that blog. I've been doing it for over seven years now, but I thought it might be fun to visit with you in this way through video. Since I've been doing a lot of online teaching, I've got my camera set up, it's always kind of ready to go, and I thought, why not? Why not kind of come to you in this in this form and and visit with you and talk to you a little bit about uh, today's topic for Studio Day, which is my top favorite five materials right now. Now these change a lot because, like many of you, I love art materials and I collect them and hoard them a little bit. And uh, but a lot of times people ask me what I'm using and what I'm kind of obsessed with right right at that time. And I thought it would be fun to share those with you. So I've been doing a lot of portrait work. I'm teaching on the Let's Face It portrait class. I'm doing some portrait work within Lifebook for 2016. And I've always loved drawing faces like many of you know. But I have started to kind of switch up my materials. There's so many different kinds of things you can use, which is, you know, kind of overwhelming at times. But I thought, you know, let's try some new techniques. So number one on my list right now is these XL Derwent charcoal sticks. They're chunky, they're big, they come in like all different gorgeous kind of earthy colors. Um, these are just three of the colors. This is uh, the Prussian blue, the ochre, and of course the white. And of course I use these with my black charcoal as well to kind of create these really rich portraits. They're big and chunky. I've been working really large lately on my easel with a big piece of paper and I just highly recommend these. They're super fun to use. They're very expressive. They're water soluble, so you can actually, you know, uh, many of you guys have seen me spray my work and let it run and drip. So, super fun. So, next on my list of favorite materials, and I've been using these guys for a while, are the Pentel Color Brush. And that's what they look like. And they are super beautiful. Really rich pigment. Uh, once you figure out how to open them, there's like a red ring that this comes with. <clears throat> and you have to like get that out of there and then you have to kind of twist it in. Anyway, it's kind of tricky. But once you get past that part, you've got this beautiful brush point. And they just deliver a gorgeous line. Again, water soluble, so you can, you know, spray it, let it run, use a brush and water it down. So my two favorite colors are the black and the sepia, but it also comes in a gray, which is also really pretty. And these are great for expressive portrait work. Uh, and just, you know, kind of getting free and loose. These are awesome. You guys have probably seen me use these in my art journaling. Uh, I've used them in different uh, projects. And they are the fine line applicator device. Okay, they kind of look like these little strange tubes. And you can, also, you can often find these uh, filled with masking fluid for like watercolor work but these actually come empty and I get these on Amazon. I get all this stuff on Amazon actually because I'm an Amazon freak. I think they probably know me like by my first name at this point. And these are great. They're not very expensive. You can fill them with any kind of paint but I use uh, acrylic fluid in here and I usually just fill them with white but you could actually I think I have one filled with black as well. And this delivers a really really fine line and it can be hard to achieve that fine of line with a brush could be a little tedious, whereas these guys do a great job. You can also do lots of dots and different intricate designs and work like that. So these are kind of awesome. And then my last two favorite things that I'm using right now that you guys may or may not have seen on my Instagram feed or in my posts on Facebook is I'm loving soft chalk pastels right now. I've always been a little bit hesitant on them, I guess, because they're really dusty and I worry about being able to fix them um, and I'm still figuring that out but the way that they blend you just can't beat it. I did this portrait last night when Robin was hanging out and you can just blend colors and, and features and the skin tones it's really actually very forgiving. Uh, I made several mistakes on this face and I was able to just kind of build up the color and correct my mistakes. So love the pastels. And the ones that I'm using right now, I'm using the Sibillo Carbofello, the pencils. So this is a nice little set. Uh, and they're really nice and soft, but you can still get you know, some fine detail with them. 
And then for my broader kind of areas of color, if you're building up really, really beautiful, rich, saturated color, I'm using uh, the Sennelier. Uh, I hope I said that right. Sennelier. Um, the French beautiful pastels, and this is the portrait set. And these are like the little ones, the, the 40, um, 40 little half pastels. Let me show you what they look like. They come in this nice little box. Highly recommend you keep them in the box because they're they are rather fragile and they're just gorgeous. I'll zoom in for you guys so you can see here. Yummy colors. So, so good. I loved using these. I'm going to be using them a lot more in my work. So I highly recommend them. They're a little bit of an investment. So... There we go. We don't want to be too close to my face. It's perfect. All right. So, yeah, they're an investment, but if you're if you're working, you know, relatively small, um, I think these would last you a good while, at least you know for you in time for you guys to fall in love with the pastels. And I am going to be testing out some fixatives very soon in the studio. I've got some on order, and I want to see which one I think is the best. Um, so check out some of these materials if you're looking for something new and you want to get some more inspiration. Check them out. I always find that um, you know switching up your media keeps you fresh and it keeps you learning, and I think that's so important. So check these out. I'll have links here in the blog, and if you have any questions, let me know. All right, guys, have a great week, and thanks for visiting with me in my studio. Bye.